Hey guys, it's Ange. I just wanted to do a follow-up to my soap making video that I just recently posted. So this is sort of what happens at the end, which I don't, you know, you don't get to cover because your soap needs to set, uh, sit for a couple of days after you've poured it into the molds. So this is what happens. And this is the process I, um, for what I do for after it's cured for a couple of days in my molds. So let me flip the phone around and I will show you how I take it out of the molds, how I cut it up and how I store it until it's ready to use. All right, so I just wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek at the soap, which is, I've covered up, I've moved it out of the kitchen and um, it is now resting. It's gonna stay um, like this, probably for a day or so, because when I go to remove the soap from the molds, I want the soap to be pretty much firm, like and, and dried through. Um, it'll be very sticky, but um, it like when I pull it out of the molds, but um, it won't. Um, yeah, it's it's just it's got a it's got to harden up and firm up. Um, so it is very warm. I've got my um, cutting boards over top of it just so the towel doesn't touch it. And here's the first one and you can see it drying. So the, you know, it's cooling off and the white is the drying part or, you know, where it's drying around the edges. It's obviously warmer in the middle. And then that was the, uh, sorry, not the tea tree. And then this guy is the other one that I made. And um, he's going to take a while to, um, to, yeah, to fully cool off. So you want them to be fully cool um, before you try to attempt to take them out of the molds. Um, and you want them to, um, to cool, you want them to cool, um, at an even temperature. So that's why I've got the towel over them so that they, uh, cool, um, you know, nice and evenly. Yeah, there they are again. Um, yeah, so there you go. So these will take a couple days probably to get them to where I want them to be before I um, take them out and start cutting them into bars. So there you go. So I just wanted to show you what they look like uh, while they're cooling. All right, so when I brought it into um, this room to cure for a couple days, I brought it in. It looks just like this and I carried it in on my cookie tray. I had, I was able to get all of my um, soap molds on the tray. Um, I had, let me grab it. I had two cutting boards on top and the main reason was for that was I just didn't want my towel to accidentally um, fall into the soap while it was curing, while it was, um, yeah, really, well, it was liquidy and soft. So, get that out of the way. I don't need the cutting board anymore. So, what I'm going, actually, I will use the cutting board. Let's do this one. This was the ginger and honey soap. Um, ginger, turmeric, and honey. It smells so good. Okay, so, pretty easy. Flip it over. And then these silicone soap molds, you just um, peel them away at the edges and it'll break the seal of the, of the uh, soap around it. And then I just very delicately, cause I don't want to wreck my soap. Pop it out just like that. And then I will take that to the sink and I'll give it a wash. So this guy, I mean, it's still pretty, it's gonna take a while for it to dry, it's very soft. I'm just going to trim off the edges ever so slightly. You can see it's so soft and it's very sticky. And trim this one off a little bit. Actually, I think I'll wait until I get it into the um, mold to trim the end. So this little guy I stole from my husband's um, work. It's like a miter cutting tool. But basically, 
It's very good for soap making and these are online as well. But um, you just go straight down there and you get your straight cut. So I'll transfer my soap brick onto there. And I've put a little measurement on my, like right where I need to line the soap up to, to cut it. Um, I used centimeters. I'm in Canada. It was easy to, um, it was, it was pretty easy to, um, you know, just do it that way. So that's where I want it. They're about 20 centimeters each. Slice, line it up, push down, slice, and there you go. So I have these handy dandy little box from my husband and I'm going to put them all in here. Just kind of standing up like that and then I'll just, you know, put the lid like that and leave it cracked so that some, you know, air gets in but dust doesn't. So yeah, so super easy. Just keep sliding it along and cut. Sliding it along. and cut it where you need it. And I just put the cardboard under here so that it slides, um, it slides, it slides easier along the bottom. And it'll keep my, keep my soap clean as well. And if you get buildup like that, just run your finger across and clean it off. It's just from where you've pushed down and it's still very soft and it's and it's cut it. So yeah, that's no big deal. You can just scoop it off like that. So yeah, so this soap will take um, probably a month to a month and a half to fully cure before you can use it. I would recommend curing it really well before you sell it. Um, passing it on to friends and family, whatever, you can just tell them just, you know, here's some soap, but don't use it for, you know, a couple of weeks until it's fully hardened. Um, but yeah, that's, so that's how I cut it. That's how I store it. And that's, um, yeah, how I do it. Um, I would really like to get one of the uh, soap cutters that um, has 12. It would be like a 30 second thing. You would just like go one slice, one pass and you'd be done. But I don't have that. So this is just sort of, this is how it goes. And then show you them all in a second. If you don't like the little gooey bits on the top, scrape them off before it hardens. This is my last piece and I'm gonna have, you know, a thicker one at the end. So, you know what, usually I save those for myself or I give them away as little samples. But yeah, so that's, that's that. So I'm not gonna get, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got 10 bars out of that one I mean, I quite like that size. It's a nice size. I can sell it for five or six dollars. Um, any smaller, it just sort of seems like you're not really getting a lot of soap. So this is a nice, it's, you know, 20 centimeters wide. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna let that, I'll write the date on the box. That's the other thing I do. I write the date on the box so that I know, actually I might get all of these in there. I'll stack them a little better. Um, but I write the date on the box so I know when I, I made it, I know how long it's been curing for, and um, yeah, so let's do it again. And I'll just come out of the box, break the seal, and the edges, and I'm sorry, I got these soap molds off of Amazon so long ago, but I've just, I was recently looking and you know, they still have them. You can run your finger along the top to sort of smooth out any, you know, imperfections. I'm going to cut the ends off so that's not a big deal. 
lay it on my board, line it up. I'm gonna do like a first initial little, oops, a little slice just to even out the end. So just so that it's nice and square. And then start cutting. So yeah, so it's pretty quick. And um, when I go to do my next ones, which are um, the lighter colored ones, I'm gonna go wash. I'm gonna go wash my um, cutting tool so that uh, it's nice and clean and fresh for when I cut the next batch. So there you go. So I really, um, yeah. I hope this video was helpful for you to see it from start to finish. Um, you know, I encourage you to go and make your own soap. It's so healthy for you. And um, there's, you know, literally like no chemicals in it. Um, and then, yeah. And then your friends will be like, can you please make some more soap? It was awesome. I loved it. And you can, yeah, start making homemade soap for your, for your friends. So in the other video, I posted my basic soap recipe so everyone can have that. And um, you can, um, and I also posted what, how the ingredients I used to make the turmeric ginger and the ingredients, the essential oils I used to make um, the tea tree, the tea tree oil um, bar as well. Um, but you know, you can add, you can add anything you want into them. You could just do the basic with just oatmeal. You could do the basic with oatmeal and lavender. You could do the basic with, I did a lavender orange and oatmeal. That was, that was really good too. And um, yeah, that was nice. And um, what else have I done? Oh, I did a green tea. I used a packet of green tea and um, peppermint. That was a nice one too. So yeah, so I'll get a couple more bars out of here and then I'll um, just, I just sort of store it and forget it. Um, you know, I'll put it up on a top shelf and I'll let it do its thing for, you know, the next the next uh, couple months. And like I said, don't forget to put a date on your box or a, you know, sticky with the date so that you know when you did it. And yeah, oh, that one's a bit bigger because I didn't cut as much off the, um, the end as the other one, but that's okay. I'll throw it in there. I know it's an end and I'll throw all these other little bits in the box to dry as well so that they're all together. And then I'll probably keep the little ones so I got a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, yeah, 20. 20 bars out of the, out of this, um, out of these soap molds. So 10, 10 bars, 10 bars each. So there you go. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go clean up. I'm gonna cut my second, um, my second two soaps um, here, and then I'm going to store them away for, I don't know. Yeah, a month, month and a half. Um, and there you go. That's uh, what it looks like, all ready to, to be tucked away and, um, you know, opened back up in a month and a half. So there you go. All right. Have a wonderful day. And I will talk to you guys soon.